Generally, when we think of a mine, we think of something that's dirty, polluting, and that kind of ruins the earth. But the truth is, mines of the future won't, in fact, do this. In fact, mines of today are beginning to completely change the way that they operate, and often, in many cases, not even leave a trace. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel, The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you've already subscribed, Guys, thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate your support. And, you know, the whole point of this channel is to further the movement towards having a, a better world, better planet, better place for our children to inherit, and frankly, for us to stop breathing in fumes, pollution. In fact, not many people are aware of the fact that fumes, toxic fumes, even in the Western world, gasoline fumes and various fumes will kill people. In fact, they kill hundreds of thousands of people every year. It's estimated at about 750,000 last year. Clearly, a big criticism of the renewable energy movement is the fact that we have to mine a lot of minerals. Now, we won't in the future because even solar panels can actually be recycled, but batteries in cars, 100%, 98% of batteries can be recycled and are because it makes complete financial sense to recycle them. So that argument's gone. But the concept that mining damages the planet, wrecks the earth, people still argue that. However, more and more mines are beginning to become completely powered by a couple of things. One, electric powered mining equipment. I mean, this is so much better and safer for the miners who don't have to breathe in toxic fumes all day and also become powered by the biggest off-grid solar, wind and battery plant you've ever seen. An Australian lithium mine has gone ahead and done that. And frankly, this is one of the greenest operations on the face of the earth. More and more mines are going to copy this because it makes total financial sense to do so. Zenith Energy will supply renewable power to the Kathleen Valley lithium mine in what is being described as the largest off-grid wind solar battery storage power station for a mining operation. Lion Town Resources is developing the mine 700 kilometers northeast of Perth, which will mine lithium that will go into battery packs in electric cars. Now, Lion Town Resources awarded Zenith the contract to supply electricity to the site on a build, own, and operate basis over 15 years. The 95 megawatt hybrid power station will mark the largest off-grid combination wind-solar battery facility of its kind to be, to be deployed in the mining sector, beating the 56 megawatt solar wind and battery project developed and operated by EDL at the Agnew Gold Mine in Western Australia that was commissioned in mid-2021. The reality is, because of the declining costs of battery storage and because of the declining costs and the efficiency improvements in solar and wind generation, we see more and more of these projects being deployed all around the world. EDL's microgrid at Agnew combines five wind turbines for a total of 1.8 megawatts, for a total of 18 megawatts, a four megawatt solar farm, and a 13 megawatt slash four megawatt hour battery energy storage system to provide an average of more than 60% renewable energy for this new lithium mine. The Lion Town facility will comprise 30 megawatts of wind delivered from five six megawatt turbines and 16 megawatts of solar PV and a 17 megawatt, 19 megawatt hour battery energy storage system, as well as synchronous condensers to provide critical system stability and resilience. There will also be 27 megawatts of gas generation as standby capacity, but the renewables are expected to be able to run for most of the time. A combination of incentives to produce renewable power over thermal power and a renewable energy guarantee will enable Liontown to meet and exceed its renewable energy factor commitments, the company said. Liontown granted Zenith a letter of award for the power station, giving Zenith the green light to start planning, engineering, and designing works and order long lead items while the parties progress towards finalizing a binding power purchase agreement. Liontown CEO, said that the mine will operate on 100% renewable energy for most of the time. When fully constructed, this hybrid power station will enable Liontown to exceed our target, achieving a minimum of 60% renewable energy at project startup, and beyond that figure will increase. Liontown's board have approved the final investment go-ahead to construct the mine, supplying 500,000 tonnes of 6% lithium oxide annually starting in 2024 and targeting applications in the electric vehicle market. 
Zenith Energy specializes in tailored off the grid power stations and has installed capacity of more than 400 megawatts across Western Australia and the Northern Territory. Now, speaking of renewable energy in Western Australia, for a significant period of time, Western Australia ran on more than 80% renewable energy alone. Adelaide, South Australia will likely transition to 100% renewable energy within the next two years. And solar and wind generation are being installed all over the world, and in particular, all over Australia at an incredibly fast pace. And the sun to power the mining for lithium, which will be used in our electric cars. Now, the other thing to consider, right, is the fact that now we have much more efficient refining capabilities. New refining technology enables us to refine lithium here in Australia at a much more efficient rate than what is currently being done in places like China. Now, if you think that's crazy, well, I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about that new technology. If you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth having a look. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are. And as always, have a great day. Bye-bye.